gentlemen. Ukraine's prime minister met with Justin Trudeau an ocean away from the war. The reality of Russia's invasion inescapable. We need more ammunition. We need more uh, weaponry. We need more military equipment. Canada supply and support us in supplying many uh, military equipment. That equipment now includes thousands of new guns and millions of rounds of new ammunition. A signal of how extreme the need is for even basic weaponry ahead of an anticipated Ukrainian counteroffensive. Leaked documents from the Pentagon suggest it could face serious challenges. They reportedly show depleted stocks of ammunition and strained air defense systems. Data that CBC News has not verified, but that has triggered a U.S. government investigation and a lot of concern. The one car that Putin still has to play is the Air Force. Then the escalation that we don't talk about is basically strategic bombing. It is adding urgency to reinforcements Canada has promised. We are doing whatever is possible to get it there as soon as possible because, of course, uh, we are sending other supplies as well. Uh, so it is en route. As Ottawa continues to arm Ukraine, it may have faced an assault of its own on the digital front this week. Pro-Russian hackers claimed responsibility for temporarily shutting down the websites of the Canadian Senate and the Prime Minister. Russia being able to bring down uh, an official Government of Canada web page for a few hours is in no way going to dissuade us from our uh, un, uh, unshakable support of Ukraine. Ukraine's Prime Minister is counting on that support, both here and in Washington, also on his agenda. As the U.S. vows it won't waver, despite the concerns raised by the apparent Pentagon leak. Rafi Wujikani on CBC News, Ottawa.